In this video, I'm going to be deriving the law of cosine for you. So you know that your law of cosine is c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine c. And what we're going to do is use the basic trig identities, which are used for right triangles, and um, use those to find out these two sides over here. Then we're going to apply our Pythagorean theorem and then um, get to this identity over here, the law of cosine. Okay, so let's start off with um, figuring out this side over here. So we're going to keep our angle that we use um, constant so that we can cancel out things e easily later on. So this, in relation to C, is opposite, right? So we're going to use sine, since that's opposite over hypotenuse. So sine C is equal to opposite X over hypotenuse of B. And then you rewrite that, and then you get that x is equal to b sine c. And then we're going to solve for this side over here. But we can't do that, because our c is all the way over here, and that has no relation as of now to this side. So we're going to figure out this this side over here, since we already know that the whole thing is A, and then all we have to do is figure this side out, this little side out, and then subtract that from A to get this. So let's label this side, this side um, Y, this little side. Um, so you know that you're going to use cosine, right? Because that this side is adjacent to C. So cosine A, cosine C, is equal to y over hypotenuse b. Then you rewrite that and you get b cosine c. Now all we have to do to, that, to get this side is subtract this from a, right? Because your entire side is a and then that smaller side is b cosine c. So now we have to apply our Pythagorean theorem to these two sides, right? So we, we can say that our hypotenuse squared c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared, right? So we just pretty much square both sides and add them to get our c squared. a minus b cosine c plus Okay, so c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. Then you expand everything and you should get c squared. And I'll add on my uh, my little twos later because there's no um, tool on here that I can use to add in squares. So c squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab cosine c plus b squared cosine squared c plus b squared sine squared c. Alright, you should know that um, cosine squared plus sine squared is equal to 1. That's one of your trig identities. So over here, we can write this as we can factor out the b squared, right? And then over here we have our identity cosine squared plus sine squared c. This is just equal to 1, right? So you can say that this is b squared because b squared times 1 is just b squared. And then you, um, you uh, reorder everything so it, lo it looks a lot more neat. And then you'll see that the identity you have left is your law of cosine. And that is pretty much how you derive the law of